Hi everybody, I'm Steve Santagati, and one of the things I discovered when doing the research for my tiny house build is that the internet is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, there's a lot of valuable information out there that you can rely on, but on the other hand, there's a lot of conflicting answers to the very same questions. It gets confusing. So, what I've done is I did all the research for you. I went through all the blogs, I field tested this thing, I looked at the company paperwork and the claims that they make, and I have come up with the very best inverter slash generator on the market for the money. And it does everything it says it will do. And for those wondering, I am not being paid to talk to you about this. I'm doing this because I wish someone had done this for me. It's the Westinghouse WH2400i. And we'll take you through it today. And by the way, you got to read the owner's manual. I never read directions or instructions when I first started doing this build, but I started to learn to do that and it saved me so much aggravation, especially pages, uh, I think it's 31 through 37 on maintenance. Yeah, you wanna take care of your investment. So let's go through it. One of the things I didn't see anybody do on the internet was to lift it up and show actually how big it is next to a human being. I have to admit, when I took it out of the box, I'm like, wow, that thing's actually decent size. It's not too small where it looks like a clock radio, and it's not too big that you can't, you know, add it to your tiny home without taking up too much storage. The other thing I like is that it comes with everything you need to get started and to maintain your inverter. To start it, you simply A, open the vent, B, where is it? There you go, turn it on. C, senor, you pull out the choke, and D, you pull. But before you start it, make sure it's at least six feet from anything combustible. Still love using my Renergy solar panels, but you gotta have a generator for a million reasons, especially cloudy days. 